Hello NBC, or anybody else stumbling by this channel. Um, had some extra time tonight, so I figured I'd record another uh, Clash with Titans uh, series. Um, battle spot to video, so uh, we're going to jump on that with the uh, missing mom. Am I missing? I'm missing Salamence. Let me grab that first. I was going to jump off and, and uh, throw Tailwind back on it, and I didn't do that. So I uh, just throw it back on the way it was. We'll keep it like that. We'll keep track of how many times we wish we had Tailwind, then. it's more interesting. Okay, so jump back on Battle Spot. Uh, I'm not sure where our rating ended up. Um, I think we had three for three games last time. I guess we'll see. Because I reset the rating before the last game, so we'll see what we ended up at. <laughs> Jump back on this. Very, very fascinating part of the video. Okay. Alright. Jump back on the championship slider. I want to try to do some battle spot doubles too. Um, just my all 18 team, just because I feel like using it. Uh, and I'm just kind of over uh, Ultra Series now. So I'm hoping that the post worlds meta will be something different. All right, so we're locking with the team we had last time. Um, if you didn't watch last time and you watched time before, this team is different. Uh, it's a uh, Zerndon team uh, with fast fake out from Persian, um, support Lele, or Fini, uh, Mega Salamence, we went into Jackson, wrote 7, 15, 24. I forgot to look at our rating. And uh, Thunders, which I haven't really used for anything yet. Okay, so... Hmm, some gnarly stuff here. I mean, Groudon looks good right off the bat, right? Like, you think he'd have a, he's got a plan for Groudon, though. Hmm, like, what's he gonna do? I'm gonna lead Groudon. I mean, probably it might intimidate me right off the bat. He's still doing a lot to these things. I mean, uh, I'm gonna relieve... Uh, but at least for Nades, I can't taunt the smear girl in terrain is the only thing. But I can fire punch it, and I do have uh, Electroweb on this uh, Thunderous too, so I can control speed without having to rely on Prankster. And it is Z move, so I might be able to nuke something I might need. I don't know how useful Persian is. Persian is. I want Feeny to control the terrain. I mean, he's got probably Scarf Lele, and he's got Xerneas, so I don't know if I want. Hmm. I think I want Xerneas. I don't think I want Salamence here. So we're actually using Thunderous, which is kind of interesting. I, I use it a little bit on Showdown online, and I uh, was able to kind of cheese some wins with uh, Roleplay, setting the sun back up, but that was before like uh, Ray Ogre was like really popular, so um, it's more difficult to have it help get the speed advantage now that um, people are running Ray Ogre. Okay, so Ground Thunderous. So we have Smeargle, and... Uh, Gengar. So, obviously he can fake me out here. Or spore me. I don't know what I can. I, I kind of want to save my um, protect on Groudon for next turn, though, in case he switches around. Something that I can better counter it. So I'm going to press his blades here. So that kind of that forces him to fake out the Groudon, right? So he either fakes out the Groudon and I get a taunt off on uh, his Smeargle, or he's fixed out Thunderous and I just get a press of Blades. Next turn I can protect and um, go for a Electro Web, try to get some speed advantage here. Okay, Wide Guards, eh, I probably should seen that coming too. But what's Gengar going to do? So, Smeargle isn't doing anything next time. He just sludge bombs. Nice into Thunderous. So, too much this does. Uh, it does more than I actually would like, but it's a pretty bulky Thunderous, actually. So I can't P-Blades, but now he can't Wide Guard. So, you gotta do some switching around, right? Because he ca I can't, he can't Wide Guard on me. Gengar's not gonna be knocking me out. I don't know, Smeargle's probably not gonna be doing anything, maybe. So, Probably just some switching around. So I'm gonna electroweb. So in case um, Thunder survives his turn, 
Next turn I should outspeed anything I can Z move, and then Groudon should be faster too, unless it's Scarf Lele, it was obviously still outspeed me at minus one. Alright, so Miracle comes out. Here comes Lele, trying to block any pranks or moves I probably have. So it's probably, um... Protecting on Gengar? That's fine. I mean, I'm not intimidated or anything, so I just get a Precious Blades off on this Lele now. It will. Electrolab and that, so hopefully... Oh, uh, maybe I can knock this thing out. I don't know. As long as I hit. Okay, so it does hit. Smeagol comes in now without... Okay, so we have that. Okay. So obviously I didn't get uh, anything on Gengar, so I'm not going to outspeed it now. And he can fake me out too. If he, well, if he comes back in with Smeargle anyway. But I imagine he does, right? You don't want to be left with the Smeargle at the end by itself. Alright, so Smeargle's going to come in. So he can fake me out here. But then what? Then I just press his blades. So he's probably not going to fake me out. Hmm. What else can he have? Is there in the back? Really, Groudon's pretty good against everything now that the thing's gone. So, I don't want to get spored on anything, so I'm going to switch into Feeny. Oh, I can't switch, obviously, yeah. Okay, so, eh, that's kind of a problem then, right? I'm going to protect. Because eh, he can, okay, so say he KOs, well, that's actually good. So I'll protect and try to electroweb what he has out right now. So, if he knocks out Thunderous, which he probably will, if they, even a fake out and Poison probably will, then I have Feeny in that can block the Spore. Okay, that's fine. You're trying to spore me. Yeah, okay, so now I have train control. And, um, like, I didn't get my Z move off, but, uh, I still have, uh, speed control too with Feeny, because I have Icy Wind. And once I Icy, uh, maybe I can get a Swagger off here too, because I'm never, I'm never able to get it off. Alright, so I obviously don't want Sludge Bomb from Gengar, but I'm pretty bulky, so it shouldn't really matter. So he can still wide guard me, is the only thing. Hmm. I'm gonna fire punch his smear goal and I'm gonna icy wind. I get rid of the smear goal if we're gonna have any chance to get rid of wide guard. Okay, he wide guards, expected that, so I'd probably just take a sludge bomb on Feeny. I wonder if I get my berry after two of these, or one of these even. Uh Wow, that's not even a crit. Okay, wow. Well, it's not as bulky as I remember it was then. Or it's just Gengar, it's just that awesome, I guess. Okay, but the problem is he wide guarded on my Icy Wind. I didn't think about that, I guess. Okay, so he's under the Sash on that, though. Yeah, okay. Okay, it's moody. So he unfortunately. He can just spam wide guard, right? And if he has a protect, he can't reliably go for that. I don't want to switch into Xerneas for a sludge bomb. I'm kind of stuck. Like, I kind of have to rack out this Smeargle now. Okay, sludge bomb's going to knock out Feeny. It's probably having two fairies. My like, Groudon still looks good, right? Like, what can be in the back? Something with a Z move. Oh my god. I guess his evasiveness is up, so... Yeah, this is looking like trouble now. Like, Gengar's just gonna one-shot me, right? Hmm... Maybe he just figures I protect? I mean, he's just... Wideguard's the easy play for him, right? He's just wideguard and pretty protected from Groudon. He's going to assume I'm going to fire punch him, though. I wonder if I should press this blades, calling that maybe he won't wide guard. I'm going to do the obvious thing. I'm going to protect Xerneas and just try to fire punch the Smeargle again. Because obviously, if Vasimus is up, even if he doesn't wide guard, I might not get it. Okay, so Xerneas protects. Gengar's not protecting. Smeargle's for follow me. Okay, that's fine. 
He shadow balls and Gengar. Okay, so he did color protect. Special defense is down. I do hit the fire punch though. The problem is another shadow ball probably knocks me out. And if this is Xerneas, I'm in trouble. Cause he's we're just yeah, we're just gonna like share his geomancies here. Or he's just gonna attack me. Cause I have lower dot special defense. Like, I can protect in Geomancy here. He probably Geomancy's too, though. Like, he Shadow Balls and Geomancy's, right? But, at least then I can outspeed his Gengar the next turn. Problem is, I lose most Xerneas uh, speed tasks. I don't have max speed on Xerneas. Alright, yeah, he just yeah, Sludge Bombs me. So that knocks me out, yeah. Oh, well, I survive it, but. His Xerneas Geomancy's too. So. Yeah, I mean, I'm negative special defense on Gang or on Groudon, so even a Moonblast might knock me out, too. Yeah, I'm not calling that wide guard on the Icy Wind, that was kind of, that was a mistake, for sure. I just clicked it without even thinking about it. I don't know what else would have been better to go for. I just have Nature's Madness as the other attack. I might have Swagger, but I haven't been able to get hit off anyway. Um, Heal Pulse wouldn't have done me a lot of good, because Gang or Groudon hadn't taken any damage yet. So I geomancy. He's faster. I'm just gonna P blades and protect. Just keep Xerneas as a target. I mean, I just go down here, right? Okay, Xerneas protects. Yeah, it doesn't gleam. So I need a speed control. So this might be another one where we would have put on the tail one. Oh, Dazzling Gleam even just knocks me out anyway, so, okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, so we had some good momentum at the beginning. Kind of gave up on Thunderous. I mean, once he had the terrain, I couldn't taunt him. Like, it wasn't as bulky as I remember either, but I guess Gengar is just hitting for a lot, too. All right, I'm just going to forfeit this one, then. So, remembering the Icy Moon might have made somewhat of a difference, but um, missing that Fire Punch, I guess, kind of mattered. I mean, because he was going for the other side, right? So, then I would have been able to press this blaze the next turn, with Smeargle gone. Yeah, I guess that makes a difference. Eh, it's playing with Smeargle, though. Okay. So, moving on. Moving away from that. In fact, we haven't won as many games as I thought we did. So, we weren't that high up the ladder yet. Like, not at all. <laughs> so, I haven't been playing any off-screen or anything like that, so... Yeah, we're two for two, so... We must have lost one in the last episode, I don't remember. Change the music for you guys. So we're having a 1510, so we definitely want to be below 1500. <laughs> See what happens. Like, I'm somewhat used to playing this team. Like, the Thunder doesn't really make sense to me, so I'm trying to think what would be better in, this, in that slot. Like, I want something that's ground immune. Um, I liked being able to have some, some sort of weather control, but it doesn't come into play very often. I know some people are running tornadoes even on these teams. It's, 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 it's hard for me to do it because I know he. Hurricane's like missing all the time if you have sun out then. But, I don't know, maybe that's the play. I don't know. Having that with, um, or like a Whimsicott or something. Whimsicott could be good, actually. Alright, let's see if we find somebody else. Sebastian. Okay, he's 1407. California. Oh, he's got a cool team. Okay, he's got a Palkia. But... Oh, he's got an Altair, okay, so he, so he can put, he can negate his son then for his Palkia. Mm. So it isn't as easy as just setting up Xerneas, because I can't guarantee Fake Out. Xerneas looks pretty good here, though. I'm still going to lead Xerneas. I'm going to lead Xerneas Feeny. Um, I mean, if he's got... If I get the terrain control off the bat, it's good. If he leads Lele, uh, if he's in the back, it might be a problem. So if he leads Groudon, hmm, I think I need Salamence. Like I want my own Groudon, right? But he's got he's got that Palkia though. Maybe I don't want that. I think I want Salamence and Persian. It's kind of weird, but uh, another Lele team. Like I want to be able to lead Feeny and Xerneas, and if he has Groudon out. Um, 
I might just take the Precious Blades too, but uh, I can switch the Salamence and Intimidate it in Geomancy or um, something else. I mean, I got Icy Wind and Geomancy and then this Heal Pulse myself in second next turn. Everybody else's ground seems to have an easier time with my Xerneas than my Xerneas, or my ground has with other Xerneas. Okay, let's we'll see what happens here. There's a lot of yellow. Alright. Check on the camera, make sure it's working this time. Okay. Pokemon Trainer Sebastian. Alright, he's going Groudon Skarmory. Which is definitely interesting. Skarmory. So, maybe he's anticipating a Xerneas lead, right? Okay. So, I want to save Xerneas, obviously. I mean, he could have Lele in the back, but I can still take out the Skarmory. You know? That means I just take damage from the... Hmm. So, if I, if I protect Xerneas, switch to Persian... I mean, is he going to tail him with the Skarmory? What's he going to do with the Skarmory? Hmm. I think I go into Salamence here. Let's get the Intimidate on this Groudon. And I'm actually going to Nature's Madness this Groudon. Now, the Salamence, we didn't change the set, so we still have a Flamethrower on it, which actually might be kind of clutch here on the Skarmory. Okay. So, Groudon goes for P-Blades. Uh, he's intimidated, so let's see if this does with our Themy. Okay, that's good. He goes for... T uh, okay. I mean, that was a Xerneas in terrain, so that's kind of interesting. Okay. I mean, it sucks, right? Because he he did get it, and um, I don't outspeed with Feeny on the Skarmory, and I kind of wish I did, because I'm just gonna have. Well, I guess I'll bring him down to his. Um, I'll bring him down to his sturdy, and I'll just icy wind it. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't pull anything out. Well, he just protected. So I flamethrower the Skarm Rain and I Icy Winded. Because what's Groudon going to do, right? Like, Earthquake, maybe? Or Earthquake. Rock Slide? Okay. So down to a Sturdy. We have Solar Beam. Solar Beam Groudon. So he's mixed Groudon with Solar Beam. Yeah, I didn't think that would knock me out. I didn't get my berry off that. Yeah, okay. So that's okay. Good thing is we're lowering his speed now. Spikes. I've seen all kinds of cool stuff from this guy. Alright. You get below 1500, you just don't know what you're going to see, like the little ladder stuff. Okay. So Groudon goes down. Skarmory goes down. Alright, we're just starting to be poisoned, so that's his like first turn, right? So, we have Heal Pulse. So we'll see what happens. I can stay out for a little bit, and I'll reset it. Alright, here's Lele. So Lele is probably Scarf. Wish I still had a uh, light screen. I got rid of it. So... I'm going to protect uh, Salamence, and I'm going to Icy Wind again. So I'll speed the Groudon now, and Lele shouldn't be able to knock me out, right? So I get Icy Wind off, and I can double-edge this Lele. Okay, it goes for Moonblast and Salons. That makes sense. Ice Wind, do I miss anything? No. Okay, I get Ice Wind up. Okay. So I shall speed Lele now. Rest. Rest Groudon. Rest Solar Beam Precious Blades. Does he protect? I don't remember. I don't think so. Okay, well, he's asleep now, so that's fine. Uh, I'm going to double-age this Lele, and I'm going to go for Nature's Madness on this Groudon. So hopefully this KO's like, KO the last Lele we did this on, so... Doesn't KO it. 
So if we just eat a Moonblast here. Oh, we're faster with Feeny now, too. So maybe it's not Scarfed. Z move. No, okay. I'm blasting. Alright. Alright, that's fine, actually. I mean, we, took, we did enough. Okay. So that came down. Now we need Xerneas. But there's Groudon's asleep, right? So. Alright. And if it's Scarf, he's locked into Moonblast, which isn't great, but. Okay, fair error. I mean, I tried his attack here. What else does he have in the back? Yeah. I mean, we haven't seen Altaria yet, and we haven't seen Palkia yet, which both lose to Xerneas. So, I'm just going to Dazzling Gleam. So I don't take any damage from, like, a Moonblast from, uh, that thing. I mean, I could wake up, but I'm going to heal Pulse before that, so that doesn't really help me. I'm going to just Icy one again, just in case he switches. Alright, Dazzling Gleam. And I guess it does damage, you know. Single target, da Icy Wind on Groudon now. <laughs> See how much it does. <laughs> no, doesn't knock it out. Alright. Speed fell. Okay. So. So Groudon's still asleep. He's not doing anything. So this is Palkia. What's Palkia gonna do? Does Palkia have like a trick room or something? Mm. I feel like I should just Dazzling Gleam it. Like, I don't know if I need Geomancy here. I'm gonna Dazzling Gleam and I'm gonna Icy Wind, just in case he's fast spell here. Okay. Oh, it does a lot for Palkia. Okay, I, think, I mean, I figured it would, but you never know how. How bulky they might be. Quit the Groudon. Crit mattered. Alright. Oh, maybe he's trigger roaming. Mm, speed's down. Oh, he roars. Okay, that's fine. I can kind of like the game for that, right? Alright, so Purge is definitely outspeeding him. So, if I'll play just wins, I think. Yeah. If I'll play. And I'll Icy Wind again. Icy Wind was kind of a goat for this game. Okay. We finished him off. I mean, we didn't really lose much that one. And anyway, it's, you know, low rated player, right? So and he's just testing some stuff out, or maybe he's just learning. He's just seeing entry hazards and stuff. Maybe he's just using his favorites. That's fine, too. So, it's good that we won. Recovered a little bit of points from that. I didn't want to be below 1,500 for sure. I'm can't remember the last time I bought 1500. Unless I lost one, like a first game on a new ladder or something. Alright. I don't need to save it. Okay, we're going to a third game. So let's see if we can win this one. Uh, 15, back to 1522. So we brought around where we started today. Uh, positive record. Ooh, we're at 3 and 2. Excellent. But a different, uh, different music. So we'll see what we find now. It seems like the ladder is like, jumping all over the place. Okay, somebody else, Colt, another Canadian player, uh, also below 1,500, but doesn't have a weird team or anything, so... There's another Lelia, it's three Lelias in a row. This team doesn't do very good against Lelia. Alright, I want to lead Feeny, I know that. So Icy Wind looks good here. Like, I want my Groudon. Hmm. I don't want Thunderous, because he can just block my, my Taunt, right? I mean, without Prankster, he's not doing much. You can't hit Groudon. You can get re Electric attacks can be redirected. I think like I want to lead Groudon. Cause it's, but it's double Intimidate, right? So, version's not super good. Yeah, I wish I still had... Uh... I'm going to lead Feeny Xerneas. I mean, the only thing is he could spore if he switches in. If he has a Moongus out. So maybe I want Feeny Salamence, just in case it doesn't happen. Hmm. Feeny Salamence. I want Xerneas. 
Ooh, I'm running out of time. And Groudon. So I don't know how good that is. Like, Lele is... I want to say it's a weakness of this team, but I, I'm seeing that it's not a super good matchup for me. So, with only Groudon, I mean, I have one Dark type, and it's obviously getting bodied by Moonblast, so... Okay. So we'll see what happens. So, Moongus and Zernius. Okay, so we kind of could have predicted that, right? Like, I'm stopping him from sporing me. I mean, is he really just going to Rage Powder in front of his Salamence? He might be thinking, are you really going to double-edge in front of his Zernius? That's the only thing. Mm. We'll see. So, the thing is... I could switch into Groudon and swagger him. Then I'm covered in case he moonblasts me. I'm gonna do that. I never get a chance to use swagger. Groudon's got a pretty good match if I can keep the speed advantage too. And that makes sure I don't get spored on that slot too. Uh, if for some reason he would spore me. And maybe he switches in Incineroar here. And the thing is, he had two Intimidates, but I doubt we see both of them in the back. So maybe he leaves behind Incineroar. And there's just Salamence in the back. Okay, so we're bringing Groudon. So maybe... We either see a Spore which gets blocked, or we see a Rage Powder. Oh, he's Moonblast. Okay, that's what I kind of thought he would do. So let's see how much it takes from this. Now I kind of wish I had Icy Wind instead. Alright, the swagger does go off though, so that's nice. So next turn I can Icy Wind. Cause he's gonna want to do some switching around, right? And he'll bring in um I'm gonna Icy Wind. I think I should still maybe attack though, just in case he switches in Lele and tries to uh spore me. And he try fire punch this Moongus. I'm gonna people even though I probably should fire punch. <laughs> I got eat another Moonblast. If he switches in something that uh, is faster than Groudon, I'm going to get an Icy Wind off on it too. And then I can always heal Pulse the next turn. And plus two. I mean, he doesn't want to switch in Incineroar for sure, and Salamence would be okay, but he's going to take an Icy Wind. And I do have Rock Slide. So we'll see what happens. Cernius protects. Well, he can't spore me, so even if I miss. Alright, so I didn't miss. So. Alright, we KO the Amoongus. So, is this Incineroar coming in now, and he's just going to fake me out? And Geomancy? I mean, I can I either get a Heal Pulse off or a Press Blades off then, right? If it doesn't miss. Oh, here comes his Groudon. Hmm. I mean, I think I'd probably take a plus two Moonblast. The only thing is, I'm not fast with Groudon, so if he outspeeds me with his Groudon, I could just lose here. So I need to Icy Wind this. But if he Geomancies, am I gonna survive a plus two Moonblast? I don't know. I should probably know my Calc's better for my team. We'll see, so I'm gonna do that. I mean, maybe I do. A, ma a max HP for um, special defense crowd on max attack for some reason. Probably don't need that. Oh, he's Moonblasting. He, okay, he's Moonblasting crowd on too. Or, okay. Well, that's fine. I take a press blades on Feeny. As long as I hit my Icy Wind here. Alright, hit both Icy Winds. Hitting our moves, which is nice. Yeah. He's just afraid of that crowd on, I guess. I mean,. So that's done. Um, I'm gonna heal Pulse, and I'm gonna P Blades again. Cause I might miss, right? Like, there's nothing really else Phoenix can really do right now. What do he has in the back? Like Salamence. Yeah. Okay. Here's Salamence. So now I'm only plus one. So is this the Geomancy, maybe? 
Hmm. That could be a problem, really. Oh no, he just protects. Okay, so this is this is a dead turn pretty much. All right. I mean, except I get healed. Hmm. I wonder if um, I'm still plus one. I wonder if uh, I wonder if a fire punch on Zerny might not be better. I'm definitely icy winding here. Hmm. I think I might fire punch it. Presence Blades isn't hitting the other side anyway. I'm still plus one, so I'm still doing a lot of damage, and I'm back to max HP. And then Salmon's, unless he Tailwinds. What do I have in the back? Xerneas and my Salamence. I'm gonna Fire Punch it. Fire Punch the Xerneas. So, plus one, plus a little tiny, teeny tiny bit of Icy Wind damage. If I don't, I mean, maybe he double edges me on the Lele Arfini or something. Okay. So that thing comes out. He does double edge. I don't survive it. So I don't get to reduce his speed on that thing. On Xerneas. Alright, I knock it out though with Fire Punch. Okay, as I figured, I'd probably get a knockout plus one. Max attack! <laughs> I didn't calc that, maybe it doesn't matter. Okay, so now he has uh, Groudon and Salmon, so I'm definitely going to bring in my Salamence now. See? Tailwind. I would need it here too. But the biggest thing is this Groudon. I could have Earth Power. So he took some... he took some recoil. I think I'm just going to Hyper Voice. I mean, I could press those blades, because what's Salmon's going to do? I mean, if Groudon doesn't protect and tries to knock me out, then he gets Hyper Voiced, and two might do enough for Xerneas to knock it out, or Gigi I am going to press those blades, and we'll see what happens. I was kind of down to speed a little bit, but... What's Garden gonna do with Salmon's? I mean, Earthquake or uh, Rock Slide, I guess. Alright, I'm faster too, for right now, anyway. Okay, two does not knock it out. He Hyper Voices too, so if he's faster, Groudon. And he Earth Powers or Presses Blades, okay, okay, he is faster. Alright, and he hits too, so. Oh, I take it though. Ah, of course, he, he avoids it. <laughs> so, I know I'm faster. So I'm going to protect. Just to force him to press this blade the next turn. And I hyper-voiced. I mean, if the Salmon's touch to double edge me, he's just going to knock himself out. And that Zerny, he doesn't get a very high attack on this Groudon. Maybe it's another mixed Groudon. So I can probably set up Xerneas right in front of him if I have to. Alright, so I protect that, keep that as a target. He goes for Hyper Voice. So now he's fast this time, so he's, we're both max speed then. Okay, let's see if it does his Salamence. Okay, his Salamence is gone. Alright, so I was making sure he's a double edge from him, otherwise, there any close I'm gonna win in the game. Alright, he goes for Fire Punch, which is, that's smart. Probably all he has is hit Salamence. Salamence survives though, so that's pretty much the game then. Because I'm not outspeed and Hyper Voice just gonna knock him out. And I'll just click Fire Punch. Okay, he forfeits. So, okay, kind of a quick three games. I don't know how sure how long this video was. Um, kind of threw away the first one. Like, didn't think about the wide guard, I guess, which is a, <laughs> kind of a bad decision when you have a, a Smeargot with a Gengar. So, didn't really think about that. Um, certain one, you usually think about Fake Out, I guess. And, yeah, so hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Leave me uh, a like and uh, subscribe if you do. Um, I'll save that one. And any suggestions of things you want to see differently or teams I can try out, I'd appreciate it. I'd probably run this team um, one or two more videos and I'll try something um, new, maybe from the North American uh, Regional or uh, International Championships. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.